<laughs> hey, what's going on, everyone? Neka here. Hope you all having a wonderful day today so far. As you guys can see, as always, today we're on MW Tour Master, also known as High W4X. But today we're actually not going to be trick shotting. So if you guys are expecting a trick shotting video with a bunch of shots or anything, you actually came to the wrong place today. Normally that's what my channel would be, and that's what my video today was going to be. But I was recording, and I noticed something was a little wrong with my IW4X. And that is, if you guys look at the top of the screen, you guys will see it says, "Attention, you're running an outdated and insecure version of IW4X." So basically, I needed to download the update. So I saw that at first and I was like, oh, I don't need that because I'm that dude that goes as long as you can without getting an update. But yeah, like I said, I was like, oh, I don't need that. And I went to click join game and I realized my controller support actually no longer worked. I was scrolling on my controller and it wasn't doing anything. So I was like, well, I definitely need to fix that. If you guys notice at the top, now that it came back around, it actually tells you to download the IW4X update directly from their website, which is xlabs.dev. But I went to their website and went to do that and I was like, well, that's a little too complicated. I'll make it simple and make a tutorial on it. I have to fix it anyway, so might as well. And I know not everyone's having the problem of the controller support not working. That might just be because I have a PS5 controller and I use PS4 Windows or whatever. But either way, if your controller isn't working or you just don't like the annoying error message at the top because it definitely gets annoying, I don't like seeing it either. Then this tutorial is for you. I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of it and update your IW4X, but keep your controller support working. So yeah, without further ado, let me show you how it's done. I'm actually going to start by exiting IW4X real quick. Alright, so once you exit IW4X, this is when you're going to get started on updating the game. So instead of doing what it said and going to xlabs.dev, which is their website to update the game, you actually have everything you need to update the game on your PC already. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to find where your IW4X is located on your PC, which is most likely your program files, but right now for me it's on my desktop. Well, I have a shortcut, but I can right click it and do open file location. And once I do that, oh yeah, let me move my face cam real quick. Alright, much better. You guys are going to see I have this whole folder here of IW4X folders and files and stuff. Here, let me make the icons extra large so you guys can see. There we go. But you're going to see two with the IW4X symbol, and one of them is the actual IW4X game that you click on to play, and one of them says Updater. It's most likely going to be at the end of the folder if you have it done alphabetically. Basically, you're just going to double click on that one, and this command prompt is going to come up. When you open it, it reads, Welcome to the IW4X installer. What do you want to do? 1. Install IW4X. 2. Update IW4X. And 3. Repair. It says to type 1, 2, or 3 and press enter to select. If you guys remember at the top on IW4X, it actually said I need an update. So I'm going to click 2 and then hit enter. And you guys are going to see it says connecting to Tor is 0%. It goes all the way up to 15, 40. And then this bottom one goes to 100. And then once that says fetching information, you're good in the command prompt. You can close out of it. You're done. So at this point, it actually just updated your IW4X to the newest version of the game that XLabs has released. I right, now that I open the game, you guys can see the message at the top it says welcome to IW4X multiplayer. It doesn't say anything about an error message or updating for anything like that. But there actually is still one problem with the game now, and I wish I still had the controller cam on the screen to show you, but I can just hold up my controller and do it like this. Look, I'm scrolling down, I'm hitting all these buttons, nothing is happening in game. My controller support no longer works in game. Basically, that's because the people that make this game, Xlabs, are not the same people that make the controller support. That's actually made by Matrix, and I think his name is JTAG Mods, I'm not sure. Let me see. Oh yeah, I'm JTAG Mods, look at that, I'm a genius. But basically, yeah, the controller support isn't part of the game, they actually made it for the game, and there's files that you can like add into your folder, but the game doesn't come with it. If you just download IW4X, you're not supposed to be able to use a controller. So obviously, when you update the game, it updates it to how they want it, like all their files, and the people that make the game, Xlabs, their files do not have the controller support in it. So we're gonna have to add those back to the game. So I'm gonna close the game real quick, and we're gonna do that. Alright, so you guys won't have to do this because I'm going to be generous enough to leave the link at the top of the description or somewhere in the description. Basically, I'm going to go to my YouTube channel quick. I'm going to go to my custom IW4X packs right here. And I'm going to go to my tutorial on how to download IW4X with controller support, which is the best tutorial out on YouTube, by the way. If you guys don't know, this is the one to go to. Huge thank you guys for almost 13,000 views on that and 340 likes, by the way. I'm actually mind blown by the support on that. But anyways, you guys are going to go to the IW4X download link with controller support, which like I said, I'll be leaving in the description. And you're actually not going to download the full game with controller support like you did when you first downloaded the game. Instead, you're going to be going to the fixes and you're going to download just the IW4X controller support that was updated 12920. I already downloaded this, so I'm just going to minimize out of here and open it on my desktop. You guys can see it's four files here IW4X zone, IW4X.dll, and readme.txt. Next to this WinRAR window that just opened when you downloaded that, you're actually going to open up your IW4X files from before, which I have right here. Uh, let me make the icon smaller again. Hold on. But yeah, basically this next step is easy. All you're going to do is drag everything in the folder. You don't need to do the readme. You can if you want. It doesn't change anything. But you're going to drag everything from this controller support RAR file into your IW4X folder and just click replace the files in this destination and it's complete. Now if you guys see, I'll double click IW4X to load it up. And here, let me grab my controller real quick. 
you guys can see look down 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 oh it's scrolling down the menu my game is fully updated there's no error message at the top hold on let me change what my uh face cam is quick so you guys can see at the top look at that boys i can use my controller to go up and down and it says welcome to iw4x multiplayer above me there's no weird error message or anything finally but yeah guys it's really that simple but i actually had a hard time figuring it out at first so i figured some of you guys might as well i actually tweeted out when the error message first happened and i was like does anyone know how to fix this and i had a bunch of people tweet me saying oh i had the same problem i've been waiting for a tutorial but i've been waiting for someone to have the same problem as me so i could ask them how to fix it and i guess luckily for you guys it happened to me because i'm the guy who loves making tutorials so here you guys go i'm sorry to the people who are expecting trick shotting up today with a bunch of shots like i said those will be back tomorrow i actually have a banger upload tomorrow i'm finally dropping my iw4x custom camo pack 2 we have so many shots with the camos in that video as well as just the camos being dope themselves so i think you guys are going to really enjoy that one but yeah besides that i hope this tutorial today was able to help somebody that either couldn't get their controller support working or had to update the game just for whatever reason maybe they just didn't like the error message it looks stupid i know a lot of people probably would have got confused doing it the way they tell you to because they said to go to like their website and then get like qubit tar and, and like tour it. I don't know, all that's confusing. I like just doing it the simple way like I have it. But yeah, if your controller support works fine and you don't mind the message at the top, you don't even have to worry about updating. This tutorial is probably pointless for you, but eventually it might catch up to you. Eventually it might try to like force you to update or your controller support will stop working or like, I don't know, more error messages. Who knows? So I figured might as well get the tutorial out of the way. Like I said, I hope it helps some of you guys and I'm going to be back tomorrow with another banger trick shot upload with a bunch of shots and a custom camo pack download. Besides that, that's going to be everything for today. But yeah, I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully at the premiere. Peace out, everyone. Neck out.